in the Philippines experienced the strongest typhoon on the planet this year. I am afraid of drowning in my own bedroom and it's not fair because all this is avoidable if only the fossil fuel industry who have known for decades about the crisis decided to choose people over profit. I and so many others are paying the consequences for greed of fossil fuel industry and Filipinos are drowning and each day that the world leaders of carbon majors refuse to phase out fossil fuel is a stone tied to our bodies dragging us down. But we refuse to stay silent and be silenced. Young people in the Philippines and in our region and across the world are standing up demanding that fossil fuel stay in the ground. This Friday, we will be holding protests across the world, as Lukina already mentioned, to demand that we limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And we know that this is not possible if we don't phase out fossil fuels. In the Philippines, the Department of Energy already declared that we will be having a moratorium on new coal-fired power plants. And this is a victory for the climate movement in the Philippines. Now we just have to remind them that they have to make it official and they have to actually start implementing it as soon as possible, but we have hope for this. The responsibility, however, for action lies with wealthy fossil fuel producing nations, the global North countries, the imperialist countries who are also leading the environmental plunder in our lands. Now carbon major countries must take responsibility of the historical injustices we've faced and lead the world away from oil, gas, and coal so we can have a safe presence, so we can have a chance to live. We are fed up and we're saying enough to far off target and waving around net zero like a magical wand, but not having any concrete plans how to get there. To celebrate this is a slap to our face. I do not want a net zero target or future if that means monoculture plantations where indigenous and ancestral land is stolen. I do not want a zero, net zero target or future if that means small farmers are displaced for solar panels and farms. I do not want a net zero target if fisher folk lose their livelihood because of this. We need annual binding carbon targets and we need to phase out the fossil fuel industry and have a just transition. The future that we are fighting for leaves no one behind. We need development for all, and we cannot forget our workers, the backbone of our society. You will tell me that this is unrealistic, that I am dreaming too much. My question to you is, why are we compromising on our future? Why are we compromising on our survival? The youth have united as a global movement, and we will not stop. So carbon major leaders, listen to us face out fossil fuels and leave this rotten industry behind and with the workers leading the way, begin the just transition. And to the fossil fuel industry, brace yourselves because your time is over. We demand justice.